Hey guys, in this video series, I am going to discuss about oral submucous fibrosis or OSMF. OSMF is an insidious, chronic, progressive, and potentially malignant disease, which can cause progressive narrowing of mouth and pain during taking food. It is also called idiopathic scleroderma of mouth or sclerizing stomatitis or juxtaepithelial fibrosis, whatever you can say. It is now globally accepted as an Indian disease due to significantly high arecana chewing habit. Now, what is the submucous fibrosis? Here you can see oral mucosal layers. At the top, there is epithelium, and then just beneath the epithelium, there is lamina propria, and then submucosal layer. So, the fibrosis should be in the submucosal layer, as the name clearly suggests submucosal fibrosis. But interestingly, it is not in the submucosal layer. Fibrosis occurs in the juxta epithelial region. Juxta means nearby or adjacent. So, fibrosis occurs just adjacent to the epithelial layer. So, it is a misnomer. It should be oral juxta epithelial fibrosis. So, keep this in mind. It was first reported by Swarj in 1952 among five Indian females from Kenya and he called this situation as Atropica idiopathica mucosi oris. In 1953, Joshi described this condition as submucous fibrosis. Interestingly, OSMF was described as early as 600 before Christ by Susruta and having features of progressive narrowing of mouth, deep pigmentation of oral mucosa, and pain on taking food. It was named as Vidari by Sushruta. So, it is an ancient problem. Here, I would like to mention the Pinborg definition of OSMF, which is important for Fiji exam. So, according to Pinborg, submucous fibrosis may be defined as an insidious chronic disease affecting any part of oral cavity and sometimes pharynx, Although occasionally preceded by and or associated with vesicle formation, it is always associated with juxta epithelial inflammatory reaction followed by a fibroelastic change of the lamina propria with epithelial atrophy leading to stiffness of the oral mucosa and causing trismus and inability to eat. Oh my god, they should be merciful for the student. This is just an introductory video. Uh, step by step, we will discuss about etiology etiopathogenesis, then uh, clinical features, diagnosis and most importantly the management part. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.